first game for the Colts. So flag route and into the end and for a long game, not into the end zone. Well, this is into the end zone. Edger and James, who for a while was what nine carries for seven yards, but including that touchdown, Colts up seven nothing. Now 14-6 Colts second half for Jim Mora, and Edger and James says, you know what? I think we're going to give you a head of steam now. And Boy, he looked better and better as the game. That gets it down to the one, and then they give it to their number one draft pick, Edger and James, touchdown. He had two on the day, 14-0 Colts at this point. 23-yard run. Colts come back. Peyton Manning to Edger and James. Now watch this play. Marcus Patton can't wrap him up. Neither can Jerome Woods. Touchdown, 13-10. So after the break, Edger and James look at the plays he makes, and again, Jerome Woods is not going to be able to wrap him up right there. Powerful and great balance. 28 yards. There were a lot of raised eyebrows when the Colts chose Edger and James with the fourth overall pick ahead of Ricky Williams. So much so that Colts president Bill Polian joked with his interns on draft day, you guys have to draw straws to see who starts my car tonight. Now fans in Indianapolis probably want to buy him a car. But 10 weeks into the season, James still feels like he's misunderstood. Is there a way to stop Edger and James? Is there a way to stop me? Nah. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> you, you heard Edwin James talk about getting a feel for the offense. I talked to his offensive coordinator, Tom Moore, yesterday. He's getting a better feel for Edwin James, especially in the receiving area of this football team on pass offense. They say that there are two ways that they can get the ball down the football field for big plays. One is Marvin Harrison. The other is throw the ball anywhere to Edwin James, who has that breakaway ability. He's one of the three or four backs in this league who have the ability to take the ball all the way. It's 7-0 the Colts. Now it's 7-6 third quarter. Manning dumps it to Edgerin James. I want you to watch this 33-yard run. Look, and he bangs Jeremy Lincoln, who loses that debate. It's a 33-yard game. The return of a punt. 24 to 6 Colts. James with a big hole, and look at this. We love him. He was with us last week, but Jason, the CNN's Jason Seahorn again, but then again, <laughs> nobody can bring down Edgerin James. 72-yard run sets up a field goal, 27-12. But, but Jim Moore, Colts, with a five-game winning streak coming into Philadelphia. Edger and James could go all the way. And you get him near the goal line, you're just not going to bounce him out of bounds. He's got such power, Tom. 17 to nothing, two touches in right hand. As we go inside the numbers, I mean, it's just another almost 200-yard week for Edger and James. 199 yards in total offense, giving him a four straight week. 205, 199, 180, and 199. Now, he replaced Marshall Falk. Remember, they got a two and a five for Marshall who last year set, led the NFL with over 2,200 yards from scrimmage. Can you believe that Edger and James, the rookie, is ahead of Falk pace from last year? It's not like Marshall's having a bad year with the Rams either. But Yowza, they got their man in Edger and James. What a game this was. Tied at three, first quarter. Look at the rookie, Edger and James, the cutback right there on Brock Marriott. It's a 41-yard scamper. <laughs> apologies to Paul Simon. 17-3 in the touchdown by Chad Cota. No apologies here made by Edger and James. Sean Wooden, Patrick Sertain, get out. In the day's most entertaining game at the Big Horseshoe, Peyton Manning to Edger and James. How does he do it? I, I don't know how he does it. One-handed catch, touchdown tip to Marvin Harrison, who had several drops, 28 yards. Four plays later, James controlled in the first half. But runs 20 down to the 20 at 2. Made some big plays, both on defense and now on special teams. And Edger and James. Patience, Tommy. Patience for James. And great balance when he gets to the sideline. And great courage as well. We bear Edger and James, they have. One part Sanders and one part Sampson. A combination that in 1999 earned him more rushing yards than any player in pro. Against Philadelphia in Week 11, the NFL's Rookie of the Year displayed his ability to dominate a game. They give us the answer. 40, 45, 50, 45, 40. He may go. 30, 20, 10, 5. Touchdown, Edger and James.
fatigue a factor for some of the puts? It's been so hot in Kansas City for a month, but not Edgerin James. The screen to Edgerin and look at him drafting behind Tarek Glenn. It's almost <laughs> like a NASCAR racer. 24-14, Colts fourth quarter, third and one at their own 48, and look at Edgerin James. Another classic 100-yard game for him. This a 30-yard run. The game went on. Seven catches for six first downs in the first half for Harrison with the score 14-0. Manning to Edger and James, it's 10 yards, and there is just no way the John Gruden Raiders are going to come back in. And Tom, you love this play on third and 12 for Indy. Well, this play is designed to be thrown downfield, but they already have the chemistry between Edger and James and Peyton Manning. Peyton knew to throw the, throw the ball behind him. Edge expected it. You can see the safety is late. He's looking back at the corner. Give me help. Manning with 58 seconds to go to Edger and James. Look at the stiff arm by Edge on Keon Carpenter. Three plays later, Peyton so under control during this two-minute drill or less than that. One-minute drill. Edger and James, and not maybe 23-15. Fourth quarter under six to go. Edger and James. Look at this running top power running. Oh, but it forgets the football as Terry Fair recovers. And the Lions are in business. Couple of dipsy doodles to the 48. And you know what? Down 27 nothing. Why not go for it on fourth and one? Edgerin James makes a first down. See, figure the Bears are up 27 points. Big deal. But the Colts get in, make a two-point conversion, and it's 27-8. Under eight minutes. But the same drive. The Colts not deterred. Manning to Edgerin James. Beautiful. 21 yards. Two-point conversion, no good. 70-yard drive, 7-0 Colts. Second quarter, Edgerin James gets into the act. 14-0 Colts. Colts would lead 23-7. First and goal at the one. It gets better on another round. It's about to go down. Edgerin James, touchdown. Passing yards didn't matter because Edgerin James was off the He's a 12th rushing touchdown this year. Edge. Rested. Bubby Brister, get in there. But for the Colts... They had to win it. Peyton Manning to Edger and James, looking to win two straight rushing titles. Only the third in the NFL to do that if he does. But he takes the pass that goes 52 yards. 14 to seven. That's head coach. He looks like he could play, and maybe he should have uh, at DB. Edger and James, well, he does this to everybody, Tom. On fourth and one in the second quarter with his team down. For quarterbacks getting involved with plays. We saw it from Brett Favre. We see it from Peyton Manning. And then Edger and James with the cutback. And you just look at the balance that he has as he runs through the line. He's always under control. Very shifty, but always under control. And James, now I understand how he can get one yard. He does, and we're tied at seven. Greg Williams... James draw. Room to run. Danced around the official. First down to the 37 yard line. You know, this. Let's go to Susie Calder. Edger and James, Susie. First down from the 37. James on the toss. Cuts it back. Covers up the ball. James to the 49. I tell you what. Pollard may not be catching any passes. Just a little bit there. Third quarter, finally, right here. James gets the ball. You see that little bit of a shake there. Get it up the football field. Big game in the uh, AFC South. The Titans and the Colts, and the Titans have had Peyton Manning's number. Edger and James, though, has this number back this year. Tom, 16-yard run. So Peyton Manning looking to get the offense going second. And... Let's get it going with Edger and James. Absolutely. We said last week, we, we thought, thought we would see the Edger and James of old. Once you have that, you want to feed him the football. It helps not only to get him going. Dom, Dom, he likes to gamble. They get within six. But then Edger and James back. Ten-yard run. Edger and James. Boy, is this a sight for sore eyes for Tony Dungy. Edge. 23 carries, 104 yards, Tom, now and the, the same drive. Edger and James, hometown, home school, Miami likes. How tough is this run? Three yards, and the Colts lead it 16-7. Interesting score in a game involving the Colts in Miami. Down to the 12, Manning. Edger and James, eight yards down to the four. No timeout. Tick, 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 tick. Manning calls for the spike. Jets think he's going to spike. All right, just get ready. We're going to spike it. You ready? Well, but it's taking too long for this. You knew something was up. <laughs> Draw play to James. Great call by Manning. Touchdown Colts. You, you know, 
Peyton's done this a couple of times in his career. He gives you, he sells this with body language. He sells it with everything that he does, and he turns around and tells Edron, we're running the football. What a great play. And they lead it. Now they lead 14-3 in the fourth. Edron James. Whoop! 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 What a run by Edron James. It's 14-9. Colts. James. Colts. Hoping. They're from the three. Two and a half minutes to go. James to the wall. He's the tackle with the one. James, can the Bills mount a goal line stand? Yes, they do. He stopped. Third and goal. James. No, he's not. Tom, where is he? He's on the one. Fly. That's it. <laughs> Tony Dungy says we just have a few to go. And Thurman Thomas, they honored him today. He's in the stands. Come on, defense. And Deirdre, oh, it's a touchdown. And Thurman's gone. <laughs> the wagon. Boiled up. Edge taking it down to the two. First and goal. Edge at 25 carries.